Ladies and gentlemen, no further ado, it is time to give my review on last night's pay-per-view called WWE TLC and is exclusive for the Raw brand. If you're wondering if I have a guess to do the review, no dice. That's okay. I love going solo. So I'm going to do the best that I can, my viewers. Here goes nothing. Now this event for the Raw pay-per-view called TLC took place last night in Minneapolis, Minnesota, home of Brock Lesnar, home of the Minnesota Vikings, home of the Minnesota Twins, and other professional sports. Okay? There are eight matches, okay? Of course, they add, I think, what, two matches or maybe one match at the last minute. Hate when W does that because it messes my predictions and messes your predictions. Actually, three matches they added. Well, I'll explain later, okay? First thing first. It's a pre-show. I didn't watch it because pre-show is just a waste of air time. It, it really is. It just like it give you pumped up for um, the opening um, match for um, TLC. It's just like when you watch the Super Bowl. Does anyone watch this, the pre-show for three hours? No. Well, maybe they will. I don't know. That's up to you. So the first match is um, Sasha Banks versus Alicia Fox. You know, Lisa, Al Alicia Fox is a very um, unique um, performer, and she complained. I did not see it, but I just saw highlights, and she lost to Sasha Banks. It'd be kind of cool if at least the Fox won. She'd been there longer than Banks, but I guess they have no desire to push Fox. I don't know why, but whatever. And this whole time, she was complaining, with my shirt? with my shirt? Now it's on WWE.com. There you go, Fox. Now you, you can quit your complaining. So I was never a fan of her, so... I guess they just use her whenever they feel like using her on TV. But nothing major storyline for her. Kind of sad, but whatever. Okay, the first match to kick off TLC was uh, Oscar. I don't know if I said it right. Versus Emma, okay? Asuka. Yeah, the Asuka. Her uh, entrance was very awesome. A lot of you probably saw it in NXT brand. And uh, Emma did her part. It was a very, very uh, good match, in my opinion. It was not no uh, squash match, and Emma had a good fight, but she came up a little too short, and Asuka picked up the victory. You know, I guarantee a lot of people on social media will, very, will be, very be, be very bitter if Asuka lost. You know? Hopefully they keep on going with this, you know? Of course, she's not going to have a major f feud right away at the get-go. She's going to the, face these other women. It does not really mean nothing right now. You know what I'm saying? That's just my theory. Eventually, she's going to go after the woman's title on the Raw brand. Okay, next match. I don't give a darn. It is the 205 Live match. Um, Alexander R versus Swan uh, versus Jack Gal and the guy with the freaking umbrella I cannot stand him and um, Brian Kenrick um, Rich won and his partner won and this is nothing really I could care less the, those announcers I they really suck in my opinion you know they don't have no um, it's not like Jerry King Lawler and, and Jim Ross the good old days or uh, Bobby the Brain Henning and uh, Gorilla Monsoon, rest in peace for bo both of those guys. So those 
coming to you guys for the 205 match absolutely had no desire no pep they you know what I'm saying they just there for doing their damn job and that really sums up I just didn't like them but that's just me okay next match is the W Raw Women's Championship match Alyssa Bliss versus Mickey James okay now this is a pretty uh, pretty good rivalry if you call it a rivalry um, Alyssa Bliss called Mickey James old on that one episode on Raw Talk and they start their rivalry um, and I really thought Mickey James is gonna be a seven time seven time woman champion but on the other hand does she really need it in her late WWE career no she does not some people love Alyssa Bliss some people hate Alyssa Bliss I don't mind it okay I'm glad she did not drop the belt it was not the right time maybe because it's not the atmosphere Maybe it's gonna happen next to Rogers. Maybe next year at the Royal Rumble. Who the hell knows? Maybe it's gonna. Maybe she's gonna. Maybe she drop it uh, tonight on Raw. And maybe Mickey James is done. You know, or maybe not. She said after the match, she came a little too short. It was a very good match. Both ladies had great chemistry, and that match should be like a like a WrestleMania kind of thing. I know I'm pushing my buttons. But that kind of, that'd be kind of neat, you know. I mean, I love Mickey James. I grew up with her back in the when Russian aggression era when she had a great rivalry between her and um, Trish, you know, the psychopath uh, gimmick for Mickey James. And be she became world champion at WrestleMania 22. But I think eventually she will get her revenge rematch against Elizabeth, maybe tonight or Raw. And people are going to say, why she did not win it last night at TLC? That's the way for you. Terrible booking. But hopefully um, they could stretch out this feud until 2018. But probably you guys don't want to see it until that long. You know what I'm saying? But Lisa Bliss is the one who bring in Mickey James, remember? She wore that mask. And then she was teamed up with um, Alyssa Bliss for a while. And then eventually she turned on her. So, I thought Mickey James will get that title sooner or later, but I don't know. She's she's very talented, and I guess she's been training, you know. She never lost a step. It don't seem like it, so that's good. I think that's the best match, in my eyes, in a raw match for women's, you know. Asuka and Emma, it was, it was pretty decent. I'm glad it was not a squash match. I'm glad they gave Emma enough time you know against Asuka so don't worry my viewers Mickey James will be a sometime woman champion you know like I said before I'm gonna say again she don't need it in her career even Michael said it last night before the match kicked off she don't need it you know but Alyssa Bliss push Mickey James button so we'll see what happens Okay, next match I could care less about is the W Cruiserweight Championship match. Um, Kalisador, I think I pronounced it wrong. Um, if I did, I apologize. Versus Enzo Amore. Enzo Amore is now a two-time Cruiserweight Champion. Why in the hell are they doing that? It's just like the other belts, you know, hot potato. So I did not have no, I mean, I watch it, but not really watch it. I just listen to it. I have my laptop on and I still watch it, you know. So, whatever. I don't give a darn what they do with the cruiserweight division. They just, I give up on it, you know. Let's say how they treat it. Okay, next match. Now, this is not the original match, okay. The original match was going to be AJ Styles. I'm sorry, I screwed up there. I totally messed up. I'm sorry. The original idea was going to be Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. But Bray Wyatt is ill. So, um, the next best thing, or I think um, this is the best match of the night, besides the main event, well, you might have a different opinion, AJ Styles took over the replacement of Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor. I'm glad they did this, because I don't think anyone wants to see Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt. That feud is bad, and what AJ Styles says there's no build up they just got right into it and they don't need a feud they're former members 
of the Bullet Club. That is awesome, isn't it? Back in the day. And I don't mind Finn Beller win. I love both guys. And at the end, they did a too sweet kind of thing. That is awesome. Does that mean they're going to have their own stable? You know, reunited the Bull Club or the Ballot Club? We'll find out in the future. But one thing is, AJ Styles is on SmackDown Live. Maybe if they have a, another shakeup, maybe Finn Bella will go to SmackDown or maybe AJ Styles go back to Raw. We'll find out. Hopefully, Finn Bella goes to SmackDown. Make him more re relevant, you know? But that's all I gotta say. Another thing is, uh, they have another bonus match. I don't think anyone gives a darn. Um, what's his name? The guy with the freaking guitar. This segment was very stupid. Jason Jordan was throwing tomatoes at him and other stuff. I mean, it was kind of funny the first time, the second time he did it. The third time, the W decided to have a freaking match. Um, Jason Jordan beat him. Whoopie doo, you know? It's kind of sad with a. Um, Azaria Woods, oh, I forgot what his name is, Elia, whatever his name is, the guy with the guitar, his gimmick sucks, he's totally wasted of airtime, he needs a new gimmick. Now Jason Jordan, they need to get rid of uh, the him and Kurt Angle um, storyline, that storyline sucks, it was not going where they so stop, keep on trying for crying out loud. Jason Jordan needs to turn heel or go back to SmackDown Live. Whatever, so I could care less about this match. This is like a filling match. I hate it. The reason I did that because the main event, the WWE TLC match, table, ladders, and chairs. Oh my! Um, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and it was gonna be Roman Reigns, but due to illness, Kurt Angle was his replacement. After 11 years, came out of retirement. Well, not really out of retirement, but you know what I'm saying. Well, it is retirement, but eventually he's going to wrestle. And their opponents is Braun Strowman, Kane, Sheamus, and, and uh, Cesario. And the Miz this is a very, very um, good match, in my opinion. Kurt Angle did a good job. Um, he got taken out, you know, part of the sh uh, match, main event. And out of nowhere, he came back. And he kicks a major butt, and I love how he did the ankle slam um, to Cesario through a freaking table. Um, this is um, Sheamus almost give a uh, Kurt Angle the bro kick. He dodged that, and he did an awesome ankle lock. And it, and I forgot to mention how you know the three guys, you know how the Shield used to do it from the the crowd. Kurt Angle was in this. Um, you know, the, not armor, but the shield suit or, you know, the vest. It, it just feels funny with him. So it was kind of cool because they had a awesome segment with um, Dean Ambrose and, uh, and uh, Seth, and they give him um, the vest. So it was a pretty good moment for Krangle. He looks good. He looked like he never lost uh, an edge, a loss of step in, for wrestling. We expect he was in TNA for a while, so that's pretty good. And plus, he was in good ring ship. He knows he's gonna wrestle because he made a break of news on Friday, last Friday. So that definitely messed my predictions, but that's okay. I'm glad they added Kurt Angle, and um, he did a good job. Everyone did a good job. And what the hell is going on with the Braun Strowman? Is he face or heel? I don't know. That was mind boggling. And Kurt. Not uh, Kurt. Kurt did a good job, and Kane just dominated everyone. Of course, Kurt Angle and company, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rowan, pick up the victory. And good thing is, I mean not good thing, but scary part at the time, when Dean Ambrose and Seth Rowan was on a ladder, and Seth Rowan looked like he blew out his knee, but he walked it off, and because he has history of bad knees, you know. So he, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose fell on uh, Sheamus, Cesario. They went through a table. That was a great moment. I love it. Great spots. That match was very fast paced. I really enjoyed it, you know, to close out this show. Now, 
Now, there's some matches I did not care for, okay? The Jason Jordan match, that match should be on like on Raw, or Superstars, or even on a freaking pre-show. Um, the Cruiser match, that should be on a pre-show. I know a lot of matches cannot be on a pre-show, but I cannot really get into the Cruiserweight Championship match, you know? Ever since Neville walked out, it's going downhill. Well, they they just push the same guys over and over, but whatever. Um, the women's match for the uh, Raw Women's title match is very good. They give it a plenty of air time from my point of view. I know some people out there on social media are very bitter because Mickey James did not become a seven-time woman champion. It's going to happen eventually. It's just not the right time. Okay? Now, I love Lisa Bliss. Okay? She's young. She she works every day, 365 days, and she's good as a heel. Hopefully, they never ever turn on her face because I don't know what they will do if she's face. Probably they will ruin her WWE career, but you never know. Um, what else? Yeah, the other cruiserweight, cruiserweight championship, the cruiserweight match, the tag team match. I don't care, darn. There's only three matches I don't give a darn with. So, I still watch the whole card, you know? So, this show is okay. I just hate when WWE add matches at the last minute. It's like a throwaway match. It's like that Jason Jordan match they just put in there because the TLC match. The main event, they started in my become time zone. It's Central Time. They started like 9, 19. And that is way early, so they want to give the main event. A lot of great spots, and I love it, you know? So, the Miz, the Miz was complaining on social media, and I made a discussion about it, but he mentioned it on Twitter anyway, but you guys can check it out for yourself. And so, I think the women's match for the Raw Championship was the best match for the women's match. And um, um, Asuka, she did a good job. I just can't wait when she faces... Maybe she'll face Alyssa Bliss and then Alyssa Bliss will drop the belt to Asuka. That's just my theory, you know? So what's your thoughts on this paper? Do you like it, dislike it? What match do you like or don't you like? I love the AJ Styles match versus Finn Balor. Um, I heard from the other social media accounts, other Russian websites that Finn Balor wants a rematch against AJ Styles. Why you want a rematch? You beat him already. Don't you think AJ wants the rematch? AJ style, but guess not. He's going to go back to Smack Alive. And probably everyone knows that um, they had a call with him because he was doing his Smack Alive tour. And then when it was done with the match, he had to fly to Minnesota to face Finn Balor. And he did a good job in August. So I guess I, I, I don't, I'm not going to give it a rating, but it was not the best show. But I still enjoyed it. Some matches was was not necessary on last night's TLC for the Raw exclusive pay per view, and some matches was good, like the AJ Styles for Finn Balor. That match is definitely a WrestleMania main event status. The atmosphere I could tell from the crowd; they were really got into it. Same thing for the main event; they really got into it. I think they got really into the Miss, Miss Bliss versus the Mickey James. I think they really got into it. Mickey James really got emotional with the interview. Do you think she's done or not done? She might take some time off and rebound and, and try to get another opportunity at the women's belt and become a sometime women's championship. Maybe tonight at Raw or maybe the next pair of you and they'll be at Survivor Series in Houston, Texas. Maybe. Maybe not. If you like this, my review, I did the best that I can. Give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. You can check out my blast my past videos. And don't forget to hit the notification button, the little bell on um, the mobile, mobile device. Have a good one. And this is your team. This is Team Iro here. Sign off. Have a good one. Thank you very much for listening. I did the best that I can.